right, let's see what's going on this morning. What's happening, fellas? Good morning, Joe. You guys know anywhere a guy can get a cup of coffee? Yeah, we, right yeah oh, signs of life in there. <laughs> Better than Duncan, guaranteed. Well, welcome back to the channel. Yeah, we're the, back, back again to try again. For those of you guys who don't know, we got two of the all-stars here. We got Brandon Cameron, we got another new one. This is Doobie over here. <laughs> Virgin. Yeah. First time on camera. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Well, I think they're gonna try to catch fish today, Joe. I don't know where. We just talked to Jay. Yeah, the ice ain't that great. But we'll make the best out of what we got. Go easy, look around, try to find some safe ice, place to fish. That's all we can do. That's all you can do. Try just to local safe. today, Round yeah. Lake, T Lost Lake area today, and then tomorrow we'll head back over towards. Uh, Then we'll head back over, maybe fish Eli, uh, Ellis Brook or the Lock Dam. Or... So a sled went through two days ago, right? Yeah. 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 We're trying to uh, avoid that situation. <laughs> so yep. today we're kind of going out check to see what's safe. I'm gonna. I, th I think the boys are coming down with me. I'm gonna go check and see if I can set up camp on the lake. So we're gonna have to run the shore and really test the ice. My plan for today is to get my gear down on one of the lakes and set up and get ready for some winter ice camping. Hopefully I can get everything down there. Yeah. But we heard there's thin ice. Uh, it's not too bad of ice near the shore, but there's a lot of slush too. So probably won't be setting up on the ice this year, probably just on the, on the shore. But there's supposedly about 18 inches of snow to work with. They just got eight inches two days ago. You ever seen that before, Joe? What's that? A tangled mess with the fishing rods? Ah, <laughs> yeah, sadly. Then I started buying boxes for these things. But this was all my fault. Yeah, just throw that one in there. I'll deal with these ones later. You guys don't use much jig rods anyway, do you? One or two? Hell with it. What do you think, Hammer? Ready to rip something. Ready to how, excited the ride. how excited are you for fishing this year? Oh, 10 out of 10. It's yeah. been, been a while. Yeah. I know we've, you're ready to we've been a waiting. Sled or rip. Oh, we've been waiting. The ice has been terrible. Get snow, then it rains. Get ice, then it rains. You got any ice at home? Very little. Probably. Very small ponds. No big lakes that are froze up. Nothing. So that's why we're here. We didn't go. I don't know, I'd like to see some fish. Yeah. You're gonna be able to handle all that power? I don't know, it's pretty big. It's an hard to catch, so it's pretty out of control. <laughs> Doobie's gonna be riding the old slush magnet. I brought up my 370 for a couple buddies that are coming up too. So hopefully he doesn't bury you too hard. We got we got a toe strap for Doobie? Huh? We got a toe strap for Doobie? Oh yeah, 110%. We'll leave home with it. We think, old boy. I think the Brandon box got a couple uh, marks on the way up, Joe. Oh, jeez. Showing wear already. Version trip. Brand new Brandon box. This one's got aluminum framing. Had to, he had to one up me and Donnie. This is Brandon box 2.0. Ready for a rollover. It wasn't last year. <laughs> yeah, what happened? <laughs> well, big gust of wind rolled her over and it needed a major rebuild. Complete makeover. <laughs>
Uh, <laughs> is this your first time up this year? Uh, we've been around twice, but first time T-Loss. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Oh, fresh yeah. one. Let me get the sun on the right side so I can see you. All right, you guys might remember Andrew from, geez, is that two years ago? Two years yeah. ago, yeah. Yeah, two smashing ago. giant brookies. And look, look, I show up and he's already got a big one on the ice. What, wow. Tell us what happened, buddy. Well, Dad lost one on this trap, and then I was up there trying to rebait another trap, and then he said flag, and it we it took me a while to get down to it, but I it, it was right there. Good job, <laughs> nice, yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. one. Yeah, nice. Another nice big one. Man, yeah. He only catches big ones. You, you know that so far, yeah. so far. Oh, so. Donnie, you make the best donuts that anyone can make. I I gotta say, Donald your recipe, recipe I, I I took the recipe over. It's mine now. So. <laughs> now you said you cooked some up for your buddies? Yeah. They liked it? Yeah. This is so cool. I met Corey and Andrew up here, was it two years ago? Two years ago. So two years ago, and Andrew was just smashing giant brookies and I'm so glad that they're here like I came around the corner and I saw somebody and I was like ah it's too bad somebody's in the spot where I normally camp I don't even fish here really and I come around the corner and I was like there's two guys and I couldn't quite see that in me you know I, I saw the back of it and I was like I hope that's them and I turn around and it's them and they were pumped to see me and I'm oh, I'm more pumped to see them because Andrew's is. growing at least a foot yeah we could yeah. we could check the footage I think he was at your shoulder last oh, yeah. time he was uh he was in seventh eighth, grade, seventh grade seventh grade and he freshman. missed school now he's a freshman nice yeah. where are you going to school yeah. is it nokomis yeah. nice and still doing the same bear thing over here you got yeah. a 293 pounder on the last day no way yeah. good for you bud and you still like this whole fishing outfit yeah you like fishing and hunting yeah it's cold but i should tell yeah. about what butt fever is too yeah okay. i missed two deer this year two yeah that happens <laughs> Good well, I, I did get a dough, so that's good. Two bucks, yeah. yeah, two bucks actually. Yeah, on the move. Oh, and like you happens. said, instead of really, I wounded one. Instead of really yeah. unloading the gun, you're better off waiting and go. Yeah. All right, I got time. You know, they don't know I'm here. Yeah, you, know? you got more time. I learned that too. Yeah. about your age. Beauty, bud. Nice job. Andrew. Nice. Wow. That's a Staven trout. Nice job, buddy. We need some more flags now. So if you guys, I'm gonna be here. Oh, I'm going to try like, I don't know, 10 days, 8 I days, may, whatever. I may be back If up, you guys man. come yep, back, I'd come fish with if, me. Yeah, if, I, um, if I come back up, Joe, what, what, what it would be would be on Sunday. Probably get here on Sunday next okay. week. You know well, what I mean? Right, don't be afraid be, to come find me. Like, no, I will Obviously, I'll be camping right here, but we, we might just be... Out there, has it got any symbols on Mine's it got the anything? eagle, Bingo. like a big so eagle American that, flag. Yeah, yeah. Yep. It's yep. parked across the yep. street yep. From, yep. by yep. the grader. So, no, I'm so Great pumped. You, I'm so, yeah, you nice too. I'm so pumped rules, to see man. you guys here. And, so and, and I'm, you'll, you'll be seeing me all day. You guys were my favorite guest stars on my channel. <laughs> These guys were my favorite guest stars on my channel because it's father and son. Yeah. Like, you got, like, they leave two in the morning sometimes, three in the morning to, to get here for, like, first light to ice fish. Sometimes they walk out when it was too slushy. And, and we did our first two trips. They did already. Yeah, These guys are animals. Yeah, so, like, exactly. they're my favorite. They're, they were my favorite guest stars on the channel uh, two years ago. And, and hopefully and, this year, Andrew. Yeah, started. and, of course, like, I, every time right before I get here, Andrew's always icing big trout, and sometimes he <laughs> ices them when I'm here. So what I'm fixing to do, guys, is I'm going to set up camp over here. It's kind of, it's shut sheltered it's safe so i'm gonna be here like making trips all day and i'm gonna check in with Corey and andrew all day and hopefully we get to see them catch another big one and and uh spend a little time with these guys too and maybe i'll cook up some lunch for them or something you guys eat lewiston lobsters at all oh, uh i can't do lobster do no lobster red hot dogs to it. i do red hot dogs that's what man. i call oh, gotcha. lobster. Sure I do. We, we do so i got a pile of them we we'll cook them up man. too uh, how big How big was the trout? Uh, Mountain trout. Off to the side. What you got? Oh. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> so you got one while I was gone? Fish on, Joe. Big one? Ain't nothing wrong with that. I'll take that for a day one fish. Any day. What Real was it? Dark, tell, dark, tell the folks at home. Huh? Tell the folks at home, what was it? Didn't put a tape measure on it, Joe. I'd be telling a fish story. All right, Andrew, what do you got going on? Little, little brookie. 
Really? Like, just now. Nice. Second one of the day? Yeah, second rookie. Yeah. Nice. I got a chub. 18 inch chub. Really? Oh, really? Oh, bummer. Huh. Well, guys, that is a lot of stuff. I got as much gear as I've ever brought out at one time. So now's the kind of tedious part. But I like doing this in the early morning where I'm going to unload everything, get the floor set up, and get the new tent set up, and then set up camp inside. So kind of really fun for me, actually. It's a really important part of the trip. What I did is... I drove over this area a bunch with a snowmobile and the heavy sled to try to pack down this crusty snow so I got a nice base to set the camp up on. Sun's bright. Oh, How old is he? <laughs> she, she's seven months. <laughs> you gonna let her pull this one? <laughs> Than you. That'd be cool. That's over here, right? Yeah. 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 Did they do two shacks after? Just one so far. Mark's coming up, I think, in two days with another shack. Yeah, they got 11 people coming. You messaged me earlier and said a bunch of guys coming around. Still on? Girlfriend, can't believe you slept that long. Fresh air poisoning. Oh, it just went by the hole, right? How much time did take out? This one was spinning before we left. But... Hey, what do we got? Like little... Huh? Yep, they're like this. Right. What are they gonna be? 16 this year? Yeah. They're fun to catch. I know you do this by yourself a lot, but do you want a hand? No, I'm good. Right. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. Yeah, this one, I've only set this one up once inside when I built the floor. This is a new one because I'm, I'm going to have Donnie camping with me a lot. Yeah. We and a couple other buddies, so I figured I'd get a bigger Which one. Which one is Donnie, the young kid? The older guy. The older guy. Yeah, makes the donuts. Yeah, oh, yeah he, he was there. Up. Yeah, he was there uh, doing soup. He can't come off this trip, but he's gonna be. Yeah. Yeah. He's always my brother. Yeah. He's as good as they get. I never, I don't know him. So Jay told me these guys are coming up. Oh, he did? Well, he didn't say you were coming up. Like, yeah. These guys are coming up. I was like, oh, uh, maybe I'll run into you guys, maybe I'll run. Oh yeah, definitely. I try to make this trip every year. Well, me too. I do January to February. Yeah. And last year I went home. Well, we didn't go home. It was at negative 35 degrees. We January? Up, yeah, we ended up going back down to, uh, to uh, Chaos. Yeah, we, we were here that week. We fished it. Yeah. When it was, when it was cold. Well, we were in a tent like that, too, down uh, below Millinocca and KI. Yeah. Up on Silver Lake. How was it? Good. We caught a lot of fish. Yeah. It was friggin' cold. Yeah. <laughs> it was cold, that's for sure. But, yeah, I'll be back up here in February. Just screw it down, screw it down to the floor. What's that? Throw it down to the floor. Yeah, I thought about that too. I got screw down some screws. But I got two guys coming. Pat comes. We're going to have three cars in here with the Do we have to take our shoes off? Yeah. <laughs> 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 but no, it's, uh, it's been good. I was going to cut it very tight. Yeah. But then I was like, you know what? As long as the freaking anchor hit the right. ice, I don't care. So I, was I like, think if you had some fender washes and some screws, I'd do. just screw it right down to the floor. That ain't yeah. gonna lift that floor up out nope. of there. No, no way. way. No. 
Yeah. You ain't gonna eat it here anyway. No. All right, Joe, we're gonna have some burgers in a little bit. You okay, I'll be up, buddy. Huh? I'm gonna secure this down just because I've seen a fire blow one of these things across the lake. Oh, yeah. I was fishing one day and I was like, I don't need no anchor. I went, I went, last I went to check a flag right over there that far, and no bull this thing was past that orange shack and bringing a blank. Just. <laughs> All right, pretty well all set up. Just gotta work on some fishing stuff, maybe unpack a couple totes, but this is the brand new 850 XD. It is huge. Eskimo made this. Here, this is what it looks like with two cots. We can get another cot here if Pat ends up coming, showing up and plenty of stuff down at the end for storage. But we got two cots set up right now in case, well, because we got one special guest coming. And I just rigged this light strip. This was just a cheapo light strip that I got at Walmart and basically just tucked it in behind these and plugged it into my Bouge RV uh, pack, power pack. And we'll see how it works tonight. You know, see how much light that actually does throw. It's using one watt is all it's using, so it doesn't really take much. But didn't really drive too much coffee into me this morning, so first thing I did was whip up a pot. So we're going to hammer on that. All right. It's pretty late for breakfast, but we didn't have any breakfast this morning, so I like to eat breakfast, especially when I'm camping, especially when I'm on the ice. So we got a little sausage, eggs, taters, onions, peppers. Looks like a pretty good mix. Got some hot coffee. I'm gonna drive this into me and then go talk to the fellas and see how I'm feeling. Maybe I'll go set some traps. Maybe I'll go do some jigging. Maybe do some exploring, drive around a little bit. Uh, I got a little bit more unpacking, a little tidying up to do, but I can do that tonight after it's dark. Mm. Yeah, it's really good. Gosh, I like breakfast. I don't even care if it's for lunch. Absolutely gorgeous day out. I don't have any heat going on in here, but it's sunny and the top of this shack is black so it's sucking in the heat and it is really nice and warm in here
Well, that's butter. Golden, first set, first jack trap of the year for me. Rolling and falling. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, holy. Oh, that thing is. Yeah. That ain't no big no. I think that's running right now. I'm going to hammer Oh, yeah. Whoa. That's got to be weight. Ain't much for weight. I'll tell you that. Lose him? No, he's still there, but he ain't much for weight. Yeah, that was peeling. I it? know. I don't know how he's peeling so hard for a little tiny There's mountain. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Make sure you get it and zoom in on it, Cameron. Mountain trout, first mountain trout. Well, no, it ain't even first mountain trout of the year for me. <laughs> I can't even say that. Man, I think it was peeling, wasn't it? Wicked. Yeah. You see me hiding that fish? Yeah. Did you see me hiding that fish? <laughs> I was hiding that fish on you. Yeah. Big mountain trout. Yeah. You get a new flood? New flood? Oh, Ellie. Yeah. Ellie, like yours, ain't it? That's what he said about mine, like the sharks are, are too light, like that's yeah. why it's dark so bad. I, yeah. At least I need to bump them up some more. Yeah, it might help. It's just, I think some of the gravity is a little higher on the new platform. Right. I mean, it's not the wrong one. I didn't realize you could adjust them that, like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that is in them front skis. Especially in the they put a bunch more weight on the front skis, but I can feel it now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he cranked it like two, I think, on me. Yeah, I want to do mine one more. I'm going to take one off, I think. Because they're like... Too much, yeah. Yeah, yeah see, here's his crank. See a big one. trout yet, Kyle? Uh, no, I'm oh, a yeah. picture of one on yeah. ground. Nice yeah, fish. Yeah. On when was it? Oh, uh, yeah. Was it uh, Murph? I heard Murphy caught a staver. Yeah. Yeah, that trout I caught was a nice trout. It weren't nothing crazy. It was a nice, you know what I mean? They got a uh, 17 and a half around the corner, the kid does. You staying out here again? Yeah. Yeah, I just got set up today. You got the Jack. Yeah, I brought the shack up the bar a lot. Is that your one ton? Or? Yeah. Okay. He's got the one ton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess that's the only way you get that thing up there. Uh, no, then two of them. We, we had to get both expeditions on the back of the one ton, so we had enough room on the trail to get the shack, okay. the fuel tank, and all that stuff. We got on. a few walks going down the way. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen two skidoos at the back of the one ton. <laughs> Not <laughs> wide tracks. So. We weren't sure how it was going to work, but it worked pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, they we done some measuring. I was like, man, it's going to be close, Cameron. But we got to try it before yeah. we send another truck up there. Right. <laughs> Jeez, that road's greasy, though. T-Wall's oh. going stuff. She was loud. It wasn't as no. of yesterday, but he got the grader out of there today. But it looked like he went up past you. Yeah, he did. Um, I think he just did it with the plow truck. But we'll scrape it probably yeah. tomorrow. Today with the grader, but... Crazy, that last 10 miles, how much more snow, though. Like, I don't know if you've been out of town, like... 
You go 10 miles back towards the Golden Road, yeah. night and day, I mean, it goes right to that. I mean, not a lot left there, is there? No. Did you yeah, notice right it, now. Joe? Oh, How yeah. Did, once you come up over Tewas Hill, it was just like a light switch. Yeah. But the, ro the road was good from Pelletier's in. Right. But from that, from there out, was nasty. Yeah. yeah. Bumpy and greasy. Oh. That's the worst I've ever seen the Telos Road. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Golden Road too. Golden Road was slick. <laughs> I didn't know it was that slick till I stopped taking piss. Yeah. <laughs> I about freaking yeah, went out. I was on, almost under the truck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of fishermen up here. Uh, not this weekend, surprisingly. I can't believe the parking Today's, lot got is loaded. Today's kind of like another Saturday. Yeah. yeah. Like everyone's Sunday, got tomorrow. Will, with the extra haul, with the haul. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Nugent says one party in it. They fish from eleven to two, and then they go home or go back to back to the camp. <laughs> um, there's maybe one group on Jayrill that I know of, and then everybody else is down here. So we were gonna try Lock Dam tomorrow. Yeah. Not going up Lake, obviously trailing around. Yeah, trailer. And then. We just want a trailer on the Indian Pond Road. Yeah. Um, Is it plowed? Yeah, or? You'd, you'd be fine there. There's a couple, there's, there's still some beavers in a couple of places. It means you're, you're dragging. Um, you know, the water's going on the road still. Oh, wow. In a couple of places from what I've heard. One place I've seen, that Indian Stream. Yeah. The Yellow Gate is. Yeah. Um, I mean, you'll get through it. You just got to break, right. break your stuff through the rocks and the, okay. the water and stuff. Right. But, Where, how far down should we go and park? Uh, at Indian, or just right at the road, the head of the road. Oh, right where Pinkham and Indian meet? Yeah. Oh, okay, and then just park there and, yeah. and run her. Yeah, just before Pinkham, but it's, it's kind of plowed okay. right there to park right there. Just a little ways past, uh, just Rob's right. parking lot, right? Yeah, yeah. It'll be the next plowed out spot. Right. Past Rob, so. No, that's kind of what we was thinking, maybe go up there and look at it. How, how, have you been on lockdown? I have, yeah, I went over there this morning. Did they get the sled pulled out? Yesterday, yeah. <laughs> well, they got it out in two or three hours, I think. So. Guy get hurt or anything? No, he, oh. his legs got wet, but he didn't go. Oh, good. Okay. So, that was inside the cove, inside the point. Right, on the south side of the point, obviously. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. No, they hadn't. Had, it didn't sound like they had any traps around the outside. You know, gone around the outside of the right. point. Right. They stayed inside, and they still got a hole to go through. So. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Normally, you don't have to think on it. You just. We well, just go and you're we, good. we you know yeah. we're gonna come up open a weekend and then obviously like no ice you know yeah, and then the rain too and then uh, I heard so it we'll push it back to like the tenth and then we looked at it and we're like you know that still ain't gonna be a good chance and then we said we'll wait another week yeah we're hoping to be able to at least move around a little bit this week I know it's not gonna be convenient like it normally is you know oh, it's, Webster's really bad too I mean this is this lake here I think is probably your best bet my lockdown I think you'd be okay there I just don't right. go too too far out cause right it, it changes quick. Right. Yeah. You got four inches and you got an inch and a half. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it's not enough for even you know, your own two feet to stand on. Right. Or not for mine anyway. Right. You yeah. have to. And, um, it's just uh, it's kind of sad. But it's terrible. It'll uh, hopefully it gets a little better. But just stay close to shore if, you, if you're going to go over there. <laughs> yeah. Even if it's a normal year, anywhere crossing in between the two points is. It's always dirty right there. Bad. I've seen them there fish, fishing there before. So. We've fished Eagle a bunch of times, but I've just never been over there and done that great. I mean, it's always better over this way. You swear it off every time you fish it. I've pissed off and say I'm never going back, <laughs> I still go back every time and try yeah. something different. Well, yeah, tomorrow should be good, though. I think so. That locked down. Yeah. yeah. Tomorrow night. What, are they, what are they saying now? I heard three to five. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's what we, right. well late, I, so I, I was looking on my satellite phone. It does, I mean, it says it's going to snow for a while. It is. <laughs> Maybe it helped across. I can hope. barely drive this thing with the cross the way it is. Terrible. Oh, it's, it's, oh, it's so dark. Nice. <laughs> you keep your skis up, you're okay, but as soon as you let off and they set down. Yep. Yeah, you're nice. Yeah, you're going to stay in that trail, otherwise it, it just... Even you know, that is, even at a track, it's not right down. bad. I got one coming for sure to fish. He's never ice fished, never seen ice before. Oh, He's coming shit. in from Virginia. Okay. <laughs> and then yeah. my other buddy who... <laughs> yeah. Well, he's, it's been his dream forever to do it. He's a world-class fisherman, yeah. but he's never done this, and he wants to do it. Yeah. And this is the only week he could come, and I told him when he made the reservation, or the flight, like two months ago, I said, you got a 99% chance that we're going to have good ice, <laughs> but there is that one chance. <laughs> here we are. That 1% yeah. is here. But as far as, like, I, 
I cr I've crossed up above the thoroughfare every day. Over to the arm? Yeah, yeah. but I haven't gone up into the arm yet. I tried last Sunday. I got up on the shoreline because it wasn't looking good. And I just walked right on the shoreline on the ice, and I was I was falling through. Holy crap. So, that was a week ago? That was last Sunday. <laughs> so there wasn't any sense to go any further. No one had been there. Um, yeah. So, but, so they're fishing it for a little bit from the very bottom of the arm. Snake Pond Road up the trail. And yeah. Coming up, the, coming up the arm. Yeah. And going to McNally by the first island and stuff. So. On that right hand shore yeah, coming out. Right yeah. Side, yeah. Huh. And I think you could cross to get to the other side. I right. thought I heard someone who's fished um, the arm campsite. I've caught trout there before. That that can be an okay spot. Yep. Um, but as far as leaving from the parking lot and going into the arm, I, I don't need to dry it right now. Just right. I, I can't trust it. If I'm walking and I'm, I got water coming up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that ain't yeah. no good. <laughs> and I can't get the sled any closer to the shoreline, and I can't run the shore because there's no snow. Right. So all this. You know, just, uh, this definitely helped the snow it. situation, didn't it? As far as the snowmobiles getting around. A little bit. Stuff for the cross, but we're gonna probably head tomorrow and check it. That's yeah. Our plan. yeah. So to get there first light, like what time you think we ought to leave the, the door yard here? Uh it's not gonna take you long to run Indian Pond Road, I don't think. It's just the worst part's gonna be crossing the beaver holes. Okay. Yeah. Which you're on the road, it's just you're scraping your stuff across huh. the rocks and gravel, it's not for a great distance, but if we left at like five thirty, would that give us enough time yeah, or so. Okay. And the road's good, it's flat, it's it's packed, so you're not breaking is not the gate the open? What's that? Is the gate open? Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, cool. that, that gate is open. Yellow gate's open, yeah. Nice. nice. That's nice. It's going to have to work around that. Yeah, I got, it's like a Jackery, but it's it's a different brand. But yeah, feel that. I think that's I've like, seen the, the other ones. That's the new one that that's just came out. There. But it's crazy. It's, it's, it's variable speed, too, which is kind of new on these. But the key to it is sharpened this way. Mm and that way so and it doesn't it's super clear yeah is that crazy or what it's just got, got reverse too yeah mm -hmm. yeah reverse and a light and then. is this that sucker i don't know is that looking like 13 miles wide missing is that all not good guys just set the hook on. you gaining on the strain There you go. For 100%. I'm telling you, you know. Tiny bird. Oh. Oh, I might have lost him. Oh! 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 <laughs> nice one! Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll let this guy grow. Let him grow. Good. Oh, well, him. Hamburg and makeshift fry pan. <laughs> <laughs> Deep dish fry pan. <laughs> nice one. Hey, how's your fish today? Pretty good. Yep. Is there any lock? Yeah. Yep. Keep any fish? Yeah, I got one. Take a look at it? Sure. It's a white fish. It's a nice white fish. I don't know how big they gotta be, but. I got <laughs> Here you go. This is the only one we kept. Yep. Oh, no, Chubb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding with you guys. But that is all we kept. That's all? Yeah, well, he, threw, he threw back a nice brookie earlier. Okay. And I saw a, uh, I saw a 17 and a half inch brookie leave here half hour ago. I'm having more fun with that Chubb than anything. It's the only thing you've got to show you, off. You guys are ten, you're 10 minutes behind the game warden. Oh. Yeah, I've seen people on Chess Uncook eating them things, so. <laughs> Is that right? They eat them, yeah. And they thought they were catching whitefish, to be honest with you. I told you. <laughs> I should have let those guys eat that one. Well, they yeah. call them, what do they call them? Mountain trout? Mountain That's trout. what we call them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not, not for a reason. You guys seen any fish? Well, we saw one nice trout just yeah. there. and we saw a couple of nice trout yesterday. yesterday. We saw yesterday, we saw, what? Three. Two nice tow. The, the shack right there, they had, what, three whitefish, two tow. How big were the whitefish? <laughs> 17, 16, 17 inches. All right. Not the, you know, the 20 inch humpbacks, but most people are after. <laughs> are they in this chain still or? Um, yeah, the, 
This is, for our region, this is probably one of the, besides Allagash, we have um, Round TLS, Chamberlain, Ross. Allagash, and out of the Moosehead region. Ross, and, or? And Johnson Pond. Ross is out of Ashland. Ross oh, okay. is Ashland, so. Yeah. I think there's, yeah, I sit on the, I sit on the, the whitefish uh, group there, and I think there's, in question, like 72, 74 waters. <laughs> that potentially have them still. Wow. Like they used to be a moose head, but they've been extirpated since the last time we got there was like in the seventies or something like that. Um, we pretty much lost them in that whole first roach drainage that used to be in there. So, so they're very sensitive. Um, feeling is that smelts probably have had, had their way with them because the smelts are eating the juveniles, the small fry yeah. white fish, so. A lot, of, a lot of these lakes have never had smelts, and then now they're introduced. Like even Chamberlain, I think, was somewhere in the 70s, probably about 60s, probably about the time. Unfortunately, about the time Al Nugent and Patty come to Chamberlain, I think they might have brought somebody in that group might have brought smelts along with them. Is that what happened to them down Sebago too, or? Um, Sebago, I'm not really. They said there used to be monsters down there. Well, Sebago probably had sea run smelts, if I had to guess. Yeah. It's out of my region, so I don't really know a lot about Sebago, but I'm, I think they had they had Atlantic salmon, so they would have had they would have probably had the, the sea run smelts. Right. I tell you what, if these jet, if these smelt got any bigger, there wouldn't be another fish alive the way they feed. Yeah. Holy they're, very, crap. they're very detrimental to trout ponds. Yeah. And we've in my career, my 20 years, we've, we've reclaimed a bunch of ponds like Wadley and Thistle over the years in my region. I was on the big reed on the big reed. Um, reclamation project as well. How do you get rid of them? You might, be, you might handle fish differently in the, yeah, in the winter yeah. than other anglers. Yeah, we cut a lot. We cut a lot of hooks. That's 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 yeah. how you're saving fish. Yeah. People yeah. bitched like about that in some of the videos. I don't give a fuck with any of them. I know. I've caught so many salmon at West Grand. They got a couple hooks in them. Then we'll go. We caught. We caught. You I caught four brook trout with last year. With... Ice and kill it and get the hook out of it, or you can let it go and give it a chance. You know yeah, I mean? and, that, and that's why we promote a moosehead because I mean, and I even ran a fishing arc last year. Um, yeah. Same about thing. the salmon thing because we people were concerned about that, but when they were able to keep them after the 15, <laughs> like, we'd we'd have three or four hooks in the stomachs from some yeah. of those oh, wow. fish that they kept. So they're still eating. They're yeah. eating after oh, yeah. that. It's all this, yeah. the best thing you can do is not take them out of the water and just right. cut it. Cause once you put yeah. a lot of soft tissue in there, once you lift them up and they're, yeah. you're holding them up by their own weight, that is not good for them. <laughs> how much, how much does it hurt? Like, a, I think let's say lake trout. If I, if I'm catching one and I flop it on snow and he rolls like on the snow a little bit and then you cut that line and send them back, yeah. is that, is probably that terrible as, on them? Probably not as good as if you just left them in the water. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's my answer for it. I mean, it's hard to. Right. It's hard to say that. There's a lot of other things. How cold is it outside? Right. If you got a ambient temperature. 35 and, degree day, it probably ain't so hot on them. But yeah, it's probably. Yeah, air in day. March, yeah. late March, it's probably. But like, but like this, probably a soft snow, is that going to take a lot March, of slime off them? I don't think so. No. January, February. The freezing temps. You got like weather, maybe not. Yeah. You'll see the fins start to freeze up. Their eyes freeze up. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, no, no, I know that. I'm yeah. saying just hitting the snow. Oh, just hitting the snow. Yeah, like if it, if it takes a protective slime coat off or anything like that. I don't yeah. think just hitting the snow. Is, okay. If you're dragging them through the snow. No, I wouldn't know. do that. <laughs> no. The best, thing, the best thing is you can do is what you said earlier. You don't even leave. Yeah. You just cut it right out the. Well, wall best thing is not even put a hook in their mouth. Okay. But I yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a head shake to have. Whoa! That's a nice brookie. Are you ready? Can I show you slide off? Yep, yep, yep. Oh my god. This Yo, you fine. Oh, it just got hung up. There we go. Oh, look at that. Seriously? It's gotta be a togue. Maybe not. It's gotta be a light trail. I can't move it. Something. It's something. I don't know. I think it's a Laker. Uh, is it a Laker? Uh, oh, for a second there, I thought I had something. Doobies. 
Yeah, dude. Gotta be 18. Are those wild just coming? They can, if they want to do a, a test on this thing, they can. I told you, didn't I? I said it was a Laker. Cove Nuggets tonight, Joe. Okay, I got a little bit of fishing in. I set up for brook trout and I ended up catching a pretty nice lake trout, like a 23, 24 incher and two mountain trout. One pretty big one at the end, but I had a really good conversation with the game warden and with a couple local biologists. They're really curious to hear how we end up this week. So I'm gonna to try to keep a log of everything we catch after today for the rest of the week for those guys that might help improve the fishery and the study. But setting up in camp, I'm all set up. I'm ready to go for my special guest. He gets here really late tomorrow night. He won't be at the campsite. I'm gonna go down and pick him up in Bangor. So I got quite a drive ahead of me to go get him. This is the new light system in here. I picked this up at the Walmart just when I stopped to get some food. It was uh, $9.99, $9.99 for this 15 or 16 it was 16 foot long light strip and it plugs into my Bogue RV power bank and it looks like it's using like one watt is all and it lights this entire place up really well I just I didn't even attach it I just kind of stuck it underneath the poles and just kind of ran up the whole lengthwise so it it's definitely awesome as long as I have a power source it's a really cool light and you can change the colors on it, get it to flash, all that stuff, and dim it too. But it lights this place up plenty good for $10. That's a pretty awesome light, and you could run several strips in here if you wanted to. Plan for tonight is I'm going to jump on the snowmobile, head back to where the boys are camping in the parking lot in the trailer. We're going to eat dinner together. We're going to get loaded up for tomorrow, because tomorrow we're going to have to trailer because the ice conditions are bad to get to where we want to fish for for decent brook trout tomorrow. We're gonna do most of that set up tonight, so we're ready to go for tomorrow. I don't know if they all made it. <laughs> there was 12 when I left. We had one step ahead of you. Look at that. Let's take a look, see if they made it. Oh, I see one bleaching. Not bad. We'll have to use that 11 out of 12. We can use it. What do you guys think? You have a good day? Oh, good yeah. day, we didn't really hurt the fish, but I feel pretty good about it. I caught fish. <laughs> you got a lake trout, I heard. Yep. Nice. Giant. It was like this. <laughs> oh, Cam, did you set in anything? Absolutely not. You're saving it up for tomorrow. Going back to where you caught that nice brookie. We got all wheat, Joe. Yeah, we do. Uh, it looks like we're going to eat tonight, huh? Oh, we got macaroni, macaroni and cheese, hot dogs, moose burgers, uh, fried potatoes, onions. Yep. Well guys, we just spent the day on the lake. Uh, I had a really successful day getting camp set up and everything ready for the boys to come in. And I got to fish for a couple hours with these guys. I put one lake trout topside and two mountain trout. After you guys left, I caught a mountain trout in that hole that was five and a half inches of water. The nice. flag was up and I'm like, <laughs> and it was peeling. I'm like, yeah, baby, I'm gonna get a brookie to, then I'm gonna, you know, big one. That was a big mountain trout. Yeah. Frozen? Mm -hmm. Ugh. Frozen beer, Joe. Not good. No. Bringing out the inner child. Mac and cheese and hot dogs. <laughs> some taters? And some taters. Fill the void. Worth eating? The mac and cheese is good, you know. Time to load up. I don't know, Joe. I'll try to catch trout tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to catch them tomorrow. They're going to be feeding anyway before that storm. They very well could be. It's going to be a feed. They ain't on. catching them up here, though. That's true. Not really, you know what I mean? But there's a lot of body of water that ain't been touched. Yeah. <laughs> Drive that in there and see what you think. Jeez, I, I bedtime what I think. How about the time I took the old attic cat and you were coming out to tow that big shack oh. and I decided to hook onto it at a time and that shack was nowhere to be seen. 
I hook onto his big shack with that little arcade. I rip the bumper right <laughs> off the thing. So I hold that thing about three miles down the lake. Brandon, I think you both showed oh, up because yeah. it was a bonus yeah, I, day. Me and Cameron was kind of late, and I'm like, man, that shack. Is we all showed up the next day. Yeah, it was supposed to be off, uh, is it Mason's day. Point? or Norway. Norway, Norway Point, yeah. yeah, and you guys are looking her all around for the big street miles up lake, and yep. I'm, I'm sitting there waiting for you guys. That was funny. Foolish. I didn't want to stop because I knew something went pop in the back. Yeah, the yeah. whole back. Because I lifted, the, <laughs> I lifted the front skis right off the ground to get that thing moving. And when it hit the ground, something went pop. And I was like, that wasn't good. And the, the whole bumper was hanging on broken. And I, I stopped and she just let go. Super, super dorky. That was fun. That was a good trip. We come out to Chamberlain two years ago, trolling in June. And uh, bring my father with me. He's fishing with Mark Prinia and his father. I don't know, there's 10 or 12, 14 of us. And Dad said, Dad's got 20 chickens, 30 lay, 20, 30 laying hens, you know what I mean? He said, I'll take care of the eggs for the whole trip. Well, geez, great, oh. you know. Well, to make a long story short, we got to, oh, right before Mud Cove, that campsite, and Colin got the Blackstone going, you know, he's ready to start cooking some breakfast and Steven, you got them? He's, yeah, I got them right here. <laughs> Colin, Colin cracks that first egg. I'd say dad fell behind on the egg picking department because that was a chicken, not egg. <laughs> oh my God. Oh yeah. He was cracking half chickens out on the frying pan, Joe. <laughs> not yeah. good. What'd you do? Ate it. All right, back in the shack. I am home for the night, about to kind of cozy in. Pretty great day. Any day you get set up and everything done and without any problems or anything breaking, that's a pretty great day in my opinion. Really, I'm really impressed with this light so far. It was just a 16 foot light strip, LED 12 volt light strip I got from the Walmart for 10 bucks basically. And it's plugged into my Bogue RV power box and it's drawn like one amp, I guess. So it's not much, but just that one strip lights this entire tent up plenty efficient. And if you wanted to put another strip in for another 10 bucks, it'd probably double it. <laughs> but we got a really early start in the morning. We're going to, we want to get up near where we did real well last year on brook trout. We can't run the lake like normal because the conditions are just still terrible. So we're going to have to trail her up. So in the morning we're going to get loaded and I think we're going to even load one snowmobile on Brandon's truck and we're going to trail her up in the morning and unload and then run a logging road through a couple beaver flowages to where we want to fish for brook trout. But it should be a great day. Looking like three to five inches of snow accumulating tomorrow. And then tomorrow night is my last night here before I drive down Bangor way and pick up my special guest who's going to be up here fishing for four or five days so stay tuned for that guys i got the coffee pot ready to go in the morning so all i gotta do is turn that on and i'll probably eat a little bit of breakfast here in the morning turn that on get some gear ready and and skedaddle and get some fishing in tomorrow tonight i'm gonna i'm gonna cozy into bed and do a little reading i'm not sure which book i'm after right now but there's a couple books kicking around here somewhere. But all in all, this is the first night I'm spending in this 850X day and all alone, there's too much room. It It's pretty big, <laughs> but it'll fill up pretty quick once you get another person and all his gear. And I have a pretty ridiculous amount of gear here with all my electronics and all the video editing stuff or the videoing stuff and all the cooking stuff and the camping stuff and the comfort, but we might go three wide if, if my buddy Pat decides to come up too, if he can get off work. We might even go three wide with these cots right where I'm sitting now. So as you can see, there's a cot there and a cot there and there's plenty of room for another cot in the middle. So we might go three wide. It's long enough. It's 15 foot long. So if I move a bunch of gear, you know, over or out, we could even put another cot over there. Heat source for this trip is I brought the big buddy heater. I'm going to try to get away from... The buddy heater this year i do have a uh, winter well wood stove i just haven't figured out exactly how i want to put the jack to get through the ceiling for the pipe i was just about ready to cut a hole in it and sew a jack in and 
I said, well, it'd be probably a lot smarter to just make a window jack. Then I could use it on any window I want if I want to move it or if we, we get a full house in here and I could put it wherever I want to. So I think change of plans, I'm going to make a window jack for it and do some sewing on that on like a piece of welding blanket or something. And I ordered a couple of uh, 45 degree uh, pipes so I can set that stove in a little bit and run her through the window. Thanks for tuning in guys. Really appreciate all the support on the channel and in the comment section. If you want to see tomorrow's episode with me fishing with Brandon and Cam and Doobie and I think that's it for tomorrow. Let us know in the comments and we'll give it our best tomorrow. I promise you that. We're looking for a trout over 20 inches is what Brandon, Brandon's looking for.